everyone to Aussie Scrap Art. Today's layout is all about the love of a little girl for her daddy, what I like to call her first love. So I started off by picking my background paper and I will admit all papers that I'm using today are from Graphic 45 and they are from the Love Notes collection and my background paper that I chose this time is called Stand Innovation and it's this gorgeous black paper. It has these little gold love hearts and also some music notes as you can see the tool that i'm using is quite an old tool it's been around in my stash for quite a while it's a glass mat and then you've got these circles and you have a little cutter there and my original idea was to cut a circle and i was going to glue this circle onto my background paper but as usually happens when you're scrapping you have a change of mind and I was looking at the negative part of this and I thought oh I can use this as a mask and that's what I ended up doing I put it down as a mask and I get out some gesso and I'm just using a very soft brush to put my gesso down and as I was doing this I was thinking oh this reminds me of a full moon so if I refer to my circle as a moon you'll know why I do go a little bit batty sometimes when I'm scrapbooking but anyway I've got my moon almost down and it's at this point when I removed the mask that I thought no it needed something a bit more girly and I decided I was going to add some splatters so I get out my Heidi Swap spray and I believe that the color is called rose and I land up doing some splatters on this layout and I must admit I really really do like how that turned out in the end. I love how my moon has softened my layout and I love how the splatters have added a little bit of a girly touch and it's time to work on my photo. So I wanted my photo to stand out from all this busy black background but before I go on to that I was just showing you that what I did was around my whole layout I actually trimmed about three millimeters off each side as I decided that I was going to frame my layout using this gorgeous paper here now this paper is called and I will apologize because I'm going to butcher the name the name is melodic missives melodic missives however you want to say it however it's pronounced I'm sorry but I did gut it and I'm going to use it as a border now originally I thought oh that looks quite nice but then I decided further down the track that it was just a little bit too much and that's how it lands up you looking I only landed up with a small border all around just enough of a hint of that gorgeous color so back to my photo I'm going to mat it with this paper and I am going to do what I normally do I get out my perfect layers ruler because you all know that I love my layers to be absolutely perfect and this tool lets me achieve that without too much grief and all my sides end up being equally about a centimeter in this case with this layout i was trying to achieve a balance between the masculine look and the feminine look so i decided to do some stenciling the stenciling the stenciling the stencil that i'm using i'm sorry but i've got no idea uh what stencil it is or where it came from i just love it it's got all these gorgeous little flowers on it and i'm using the inca gold and the color is rosen quartz and i absolutely love how it turned out i am putting the applying the inca gold in a diagonal fashion and I love how it looks like I've got this full moon that is shooting out all these lovely gorgeous pink flowers so here is where I ran into trouble I had no idea what I was going to do once I finished my stenciling I got out my little box of trims in this little box I have embroidery thread some laces different little trims that I picked up along the way and I start auditioning you know all these little bits and pieces and all I managed to do is cause myself more confusion because I had no idea what I wanted to do so when in doubt put it all aside and move on with your next project and I got out my cuddle bug I got out these old spellbinder love hearts and I decided I was going to make my own embellishment and this will be a 
little love heart well actually it's a big love heart with sequins in it so i'm just cutting out some love hearts i do one in red the outline i get out a piece of acetate and i cut out a love heart from the acetate oh and what did i do after that oh yes and once i've got my acetate love heart i cut out another love heart from some white paper and this is where I decide that the white love heart is just a little bit too much for my layout. It just is really, really stands out. So what I do is I get out my Distress Oxides and I believe that this colour is called Perfect Linen. But please do not quote me on that because my memory is absolutely shocking. And considering this is one of my favourite colours, I really should know the name of it. But sorry, I don't. Anyway, put all that aside and I start to build my little, little sequence so i'm just adding some glue and to this i'm going to glue down my acetate piece once that is down i get out my my little foam this is some really thin foam that i believe i might have got at one of the scrapbooking expos at uh, penrith and i just apply that all around so that my little sequence when i do apply it does not escape the sequence that I will be using is from Nuvo and these gorgeous, gorgeous little red circles. They are called, oh, red carpet circles. There you go. And once I adhere my little pocket, I make sure that none of the sequins are going to escape and I bring back and I start auditioning everything. And of course, after a little break away and making my love heart, which I love, I decide Oh, I like this little pink trim here and I want to use the trim to go around my moon. So I get out my glue and I start gluing it down. Now this took me a little bit of time because I had to get the lace to actually contour to my little moon. And it took it was a bit fiddly but I did get there in the end and it was well worth the effort. Now off screen, I did adhere everything down and then I started thinking, oh, I need a title. And in my stash, I found this chipboard word, it just says plain and simple love. I added some gesso and I started thinking, oh, no, I didn't like it in white. So I thought I would add some of this Inca gold in that lovely Rosenquartz color. But that really, really didn't pop off the page for me and I had to come up with something else. I then thought, oh, it needs a darker colour. I'll use my Inca Gold in this charcoal colour. But no, that didn't work for me either. And I thought, third time lucky, I'm going to use the Inca Gold in this gorgeous red Laverot colour. But no, that doesn't work either. And when all else fails, you get out the big guns and it's time to do some embossing. So I'm just used just using some embossing um, liquid here. I believe this one's from Stampedius. And I'm sprinkling my embossing powder. It's a lovely sort of soft pink color. And I emboss that and get out that trusted old heat gun. And I think I'm finally happy with what I've got. Yes, that works. It blends in together with everything. Not blends in together, but it, you know, it just makes, it just works with everything. So love how that looks. Look at that absolutely gorgeous i think all the layers of color actually helped too that's the story i've got and i'm sticking to it so that's it for today here are some close-ups thank you all for watching and i would love it if you subscribe to my little channel and yes and hit that notifications bell so that whenever i upload you will be notified thank you all so much and until next time take care everybody